Welcome back to Laser That Thing. And I thought it would be cool to add some serrations to my beef today. So let me take you through it. All right, so a lot of you guys had tips from the last video, so I tried to listen to all of them. The first one being only do the outline of the shape that I'm trying to do. So I only did the outline of this and it's going by a lot quicker. Um, the second tip was to actually disassemble it and do the blade only, so then I don't melt any of the handles. And so I'm doing that as well, um, especially because I don't void the warranty if I take apart my beef. Uh, Sorry for the spiel. I also, in order to not destroy the heat treat, um, I'm going to put some water on it periodically just so that I can cool it down. Um, and hopefully that doesn't destroy the heat treat like in the arcade light video. This one is just going by a lot faster and it's making a really cool noise. And so just listen to it and I'll show you the finished product here in a second. <laughs> Here is what it looks like directly out of the laser. As you can see, it is not sharpened, and so I am gonna try and figure out a way that I can sharpen this. Here is the finished product. It actually looks kind of scary. I'm a little scared of this thing. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna take it and go and do some serrated knife things. First test is to see if I can saw through some cardboard. It's not working. Okay, next. It's a little scary. Let's try another side. Okay, it does saw actually pretty well now that I have uh, gotten the hang of it. It can't do more than two plies, two cardboard plies deep, I guess, but next test. The last test for the serrated beef, I'm seeing if I can cut through some rope. It is not working too well, so. All right, so as you can see, it's not very uh, utilitarian. It's mainly just for looks. Uh, it's not really very good for use, unless you're cutting one cardboard thick. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments what other crazy things you want to see us laser, and we'll see you in the next episode.